you got. Mm. Right, what are you doing? The I'm just looking at you. Ah. Yeah, we're filming on the new uh, upgraded camera and the new lens, which is like sick as hell. So I'm excited. And he's playing with the shittiest wrap I've eaten so far in my life. How do you feel about the trip? Yeah, I'm excited. This, it could be, I mean, it's, I'm going to try and make the best climbing videos I've ever done. So I have a lot of pressure on myself. I've felt it for like two weeks. So besides that, it's good. How are you today? <laughs> <laughs> and usually when I go on these kind of trips, it's like, you know, 15 minutes of packing and then a uh, little bit planning the actual travel. And then it's about 10 hours of watching climbing videos of the area we're going to. Um, so yeah, we've got a lot of boulders in store and it's going to be great. How do you feel? We're in Magic Woods. Um, and we just had a big power nap, and I think we feel energized. So we're gonna head out and start checking out some boulders. Hello, Linda. Hi. We made it to Magic Wood. You made it to Magic Wood. I think we're gonna watch uh, Emil climb Never Ending Story. <laughs> no pressure. <Yeah. laughs> so the Never Ending Story is kind of my, one of my long time projects uh, that I haven't tried yet. I wanted to try it. I wanted to try it for about five years or so. One of the first boulders that like truly, truly, truly caught my eye was the Never Ending Story. So V14 is is kind of unprecedented for me. I've never tried anything of the grade. I've tried 8C, the Big Island, last year, but I kind of just skipped the V14 part. Um, I mean, I only have a day and a half on the boulder, but it's more than most people. So there's gonna be a lot of try hard. I'm. Uh, Gonna give it my best and see if it's, uh, you know, how it goes. I literally, since I started climbing up there's five years ago, this is like the one area that I've looked at maybe three times, four times a month at least, and just been dreaming about and dreaming about. So I'm pretty stoked. I'm pretty like, yeah, let's, yeah. We're at the, the first block of the, of the trip, the Bruno block. And uh, I think we're just gonna check it out for a few minutes, get some feel of the different boulders that are here, and then I guess I'll give it a few goes. So before I start, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna try this boulder that uh, Orchid did a couple years back called uh, Super Supernova. And it's just like a super slopey red. Uh, that I think would be really good to just get, get the bar recruited. Um, he gave me all the beta, so I just have to hop on it and try to do it. So let's see how it goes. I think it was a pretty good burn. Oki gave me a solid nod afterwards. Um, but I, I don't know, I just like popped right off the right hand sloper near the end. Um, so I'll have to try it again and just try to like figure out how to get the good friction, I suppose. Come on. 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 Come on.
Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was really cool. Um, definitely a blue that suits my style well. Okay. Um, so I'm about to try the never ending story. Uh, dream come true, sort of. And right now I'm just setting up my heel. I saw this in Fabian's video. He like takes his foot like freaking crazy so he wouldn't let go. So I'm trying to do the same thing. The never ending story consists of, of two different parts. Part one is a, I think it's like 12 moves or something, an 80 plus um, that starts deep down in the cave. And then what you do is you, 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 you climb on all of these pretty funky looking holds and you've got a lot of angles to work with when you're climbing. If you just move slightly incorrectly from one hole to another, you're gonna get severely punished for it because you're gonna start getting like a barn door effect or something like that. Um, it seems like none of the moves are harder than any of the others, really. So once you once you get through those 12 moves, you get to the second part, which is 8A. So it's slightly easier than the first part, but since you're so tired from the from all the moves you've already done, it gets so much harder. The second part consists of mainly a tricky heel look and then four somewhat powerful moves afterwards. So when I go in for the flash, the main priority is going to be just precision and trying to get everything as, as correctly as I can, given the circumstances, given that I haven't, you know, touched the holes, and then just full effort after that. Until this point, so the longest rest I've had on this boulder was like 20 seconds. Uh, but now I've had a proper rest of about 10 minutes, I think. So I'm ready to give it a, a red point burn and actually try it from the from the start, like properly try it. Um, my my, if I can do the first part, the 8A plus, then I'll be very very satisfied. And if I can get to the crimp, the first crimp for the second part, then I'll be amazingly happy. So yeah, that's my goal for now, anyway. And then I'll sort of 
trip it up a little bit. Go on, let's go. First day on my one of my lifetime boulders, and it went pretty much as good as it probably could. Um, I was really happy with the first flash go. I came pretty much, I came a lot further than I honestly expected. And uh, having done the two parts, it definitely feels like it could go. We only have five days here, and I'm gonna try to like spread out what I climb as much as possible. But I definitely want to give this one at least a few more burns before we head home. Uh, so I'll rest up for maybe tomorrow or in two days and then try to crush it. Yeah, we haven't mentioned it in one 8A, two 8A and 8A+. Yeah, two 8As and an 8A+. Plus. Yeah. So that's a, yeah, it's a pretty good day. Feels good. <laughs> Okay, so it's a little bit um, uh, loud over here, so we can't do much talking. I'll do that afterwards. Um, but I've done the stand start two times now, and I'm gonna hop on the entire thing and, and try to see how it feels. Cool. Yeah.
and why we are coming from India as you saw. So, It ends up with me not sending the builder, and uh, I mean I've been dreaming about it for five years or so. So I end up with this kind of empty feeling inside. I'm still not frustrated, still not like screaming and being angry as I as I usually react. It's just empty, and I just I really don't want to like push that feeling onto everyone else. So uh, what I do is I, I shape up and I, I try try something else. So what I try is to uh, to just campus the second part to just have a good time. Thank you. 